Today's topic is human genetic engineering. But before moving into human genetic, we should be knowing what is genetic engineering. So, genetic engineering is the process of engineering of the genome using biotechnological tools. And uh, what is genome? Genome is uh, the set of DNA or the set of genes that are present in the nucleus. So, uh, basically, a genome contains a haploid set of genes contained in the nucleus of an organism and uh, this uh, genes they are made up of dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid and this dna is made up of four type of bases a t g c adenine thymine guanine and cytosine adenine base pairs with thymine and guanine base pairs with cytosine that results into the double helical structure of the dna and uh, after this, uh, we are coming to the topic that is genetic engineering in human beings. So, in uh, genetic engineering in human beings, we alter the genes present in the genome of human beings. And why do we alter these genes? To get certain desired trait to be expressed or to, to, develop, to uh, have protection from developing a certain disease or disorder so the process of genetic engineering in human beings they share or the same common steps as genetic engineering that means the first step is the desired gene is obtained and uh, then it is put into the vector but uh, before putting into the vector this gene should be having promoter upstream promoter and downstream terminator sequence and uh, it should be having if it is uh, if there is a need of selection it should be having antibiotic resistance gene as well and uh, then this transgene or the desired gene it is put into a vector and this recombinant vector it is put into the host cell and that process is known as transfection in animal so when this recombinant vector it is put into a germ cell uh, that means a uh, sperm ova or uh, an early embryo or even a stem cell then it is known as germline engineering and it is done with the help of viral vectors so vector is virus in this case and if this recombinant uh, vector is put into any other cell then it is known as somatic engineering so genetic engineering in human beings it is of two type germline engineering and somatic engineering if the transgene is put into the germ cells or the early embryo or the som or the stem cell then it is known as germline engineering and uh, it is called somatic engineering in case of any other cell of the body this uh, genetic engineering it leads to the formation of gmo that is the genetically modified organism or transgenic uh, we can say uh, a gene in, a gene that is introduced during genetic engineering that means the transgene it, it can be obtained from different individual or uh, from across the species or it can be even artificially synthesized in the laboratory so the uh, genetic process of genetic engineering in human beings it is first of all this genetic engineering it is not new for human beings they have been doing it from thousands of years for example if you see the different breeds of dogs that we get to see today uh, each breed is specialized for one or the other function to perform like some are hairy some are lean uh, some are trained to uh, train to uh, find out something or detect something Okay, uh, so some are simply used as pets. Uh, so th these are the different traits that are uh, that are uh, selected over the time by the human beings. Or uh, if in case of plants, uh, all the agricultural products that are on market today, they are the result of selection by the man from thousands of years, from uh, over centuries. So and it is purely by the individual, by the human beings for their own benefit so this is a kind of uh, uh, not natural evolution it is a kind of uh, uh, forced evolution by the man for its own benefit so this the term genetic engineering is new it is uh, now applied 
okay this new technique of genetic engineering in uh, so this process of genetic engineering it it range from in human beings it ranges from the old techniques like with the discovery of restriction enzymes and uh, ligases and polymerases from those days to nowadays that have been uh, recently uh, that have been identified the crispr technology so it 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 is if we are using this process of genetic engineering in human beings uh from as old as uh, restriction enzyme to as new as this crispr technology what is crispr technology uh, this crispr codes it's the abbreviated form of clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats cas9 so it is made up of uh, two type of this crispr so this is a structure of crispr it is made up of two two kind of elements so one is the protein cas protein and the other is guide rna so this is this part is rna and uh, this whole structure is cas9 protein so this crispr gene it codes is uh, this crispr codes for both of these and it it was first of all found in bacteria and it serves as a defense mechanism for bacteria and we can use the this defense mechanism of bacteria this crispr for our own benefit because it has a speciality it has got nuclease part so it is able to cut the dna it is able to uh, put a gene a new gene that is replaced uh, with uh, from here this guide the rna is replaced with our target rna so it is able to cut the dna replace and uh, replace that cut dna with our desired dna and it is very very accurate it is very specific in its function so we can utilize this crispr technology for uh, uh, genetic engineering in human beings for production of designer babies okay this diagram is a little bit faint uh, so this diagram is depicting the steps of it is the proposal of schematic presentation of germline engineering that combines the use of uh, somatic cloning and embryo cloning uh, okay so it is starting with the uh, sperm and ova they are fused to form zygote and then embryo is formed then this early embryo known as at this blastocyst stage it is cut open and uh, from here uh, stem cells they are harvested and these stem cells are uh, cultured now at this stage these stem cells are co-cultured with the viral vector that are containing our desired genes and uh, then we go for selection so whatever stem cell which take up this uh, viral vector containing our transgene our gene of interest desired dna they will be selected so colonies the grown they are grown from each of the stem cell and then we test for the presence of our transgene and uh, after the selection is done this stem cell with new gene it is taken up now uh, parallelly uh, we we take an ovum and we enucleate this we remove the nucleus and this enucleated ova it is uh, it is made to be like this uh, from stem cell this nucleus Uh, is isolated why this nucleus is isolated because it is the stem cell which is carrying a gene of interest so this nucleus it is taken out from the stem cell and it is put into the this ovum and uh, then it is transplanted back into the surrogate mother and uh, the designer baby is uh, produced why it is called designer baby the gene the new gene that you are inserting it into it it will be coding uh, the trait you are looking for so you can have any kind of trait incorporated uh, that, that you want uh, to be incorporated into the progeny or daughter cell next is the history of genetic engineering the term was coined by johnson williamson in 1951 and uh, Uh, it dates back to 1970. Origin of uh, 1970. Origin of genetic engineering. 
and uh, somatic genetic engineering was attempted much earlier than the germline genetic engineering and uh, in 1972 paul berg uh, was the first one to made recombinant dna and in 1973 boer and cohen they first they produced the they made first transgenic organism by inserting antibiotic gene in e coli in 1974 a gm mice was created in 96 dolly was created and uh, after a brief history of genetic engineering now what are the advantages of genetic human genetic engineering so obviously the first obvious uh, advantage is to phase out any kind of genetic disorder completely by using germline genetic engineering parents uh, second thing is parents can choose appearance uh, many traits of in their uh, in their uh, children like appearance intellectual and uh, personality traits and that that is a designer baby so parents they are able to choose uh, the traits the physical traits or uh, other traits and uh, but again that may create a uh, super power traits it could be uh, it it may be incorporated by using this human genetic engineering next is we by human genetic engineering we uh, we become our own god we can control our own evolution and natural selection and uh, obviously the uh, long life traits may get may get incorporated using this process of human genetic engineering average life span of human being can be increased and uh, that may le- that will eventually lead into eternity okay so these are the not potential consequences these are the advantages we can say of human genetic engineering but at the same time uh, it's a blessing with the curse but there are certain disadvantages also associated with human genetic engineering and that is why in most of the countries of the world it is banned so what are the disadvantages or limitation of human genetic engineering uh obviously the notion of playing god and uh, next is the parents who are uh, financially more stable they can afford to incorporate these extraordinary trait into their children and uh, that will create a kind of classism and uh, eventually a gap will be created uh, between the section different sections of the society the one who are able to afford this and the one who are not able to and a kind of classism will uh, get created and uh, apart from this sex ratio will also be disturbed for example there will be increased female feticide okay smarter human beings means their brain will be enlarged like this and uh, that will have a uh, difficulty in in natural birth it will be uh, difficult to get this head out from the birth canal of mother so that will lead to more cesarean c sections and uh, obviously due to long life average life span of the people if it is increased then uh, there will be stress on the natural resources these will become limited and uh, if you if you live free of disease uh, you will have a fight for survival to get the basic amenities and uh, okay the all these are the limitations along with so there are both advantages as well as disadvantages but because of the disadvantages and the, even the ethical issues like playing god uh, we uh, most of the countries they have banned this genetic engin- human genetic engineering but again if we want to use it for the good we can because if it is uh, it is we are able to save life from we can prevent life threatening and incurable disease using this technique and uh, it can also like drugs can be produced which is disease specific so this is all about human genetic engineering